Hi everyone. Welcome to introduction to mainframe and TSO ISPF course. In this course, we are going to discuss about mainframes, what is mainframes, and differences between mainframes and windows or mac device so here we try to understand differences between mainframe and windows so this particular uh, you know definition is very very important who are new to mainframes and we will try to understand differences between batch and online applications so in real time there are two two types of applications in mainframe one is batch application and online application we will be seeing them in detail in further videos different subsystems so what is subsystem how many subsystems are there in mainframe and all of them we are going to discuss and emulator so what is emulator okay so how we can do emulator configuration in mainframes if you want to connect to mainframe server okay so if you want to connect to mainframe server from your local system it either it can be windows or linux or mac operating system irrespective of the operating system irrespective of the device if you want to connect to mainframes how we can connect so we need to install emulator in our local system so there are different types of emulators are there there are different types different commercial and open source emulators are there in market we can procure or we can download free version emulator and we can install specify the mainframe server ip and port details and we can connect to mainframe server so we will be discussing about them again in, in this course next we will see introduction to tso and ispf so before that i will explain you how many modules are there in mainframe so what are those functionalities of them like we have a tso ispf and jcl vzam cobol db2 cics rex and so on so we will try to understand each role each module role in mainframe okay then after we will start discussing about tso ispf so this course objective is tso ispf hence in the rest of the videos we will be focusing on what is tso what is ispf how we can navigate from one screen to another screen if you are new to either mac operating system or windows first we will try to understand how to create a folder how to create a file how to shut down okay how to switch on how to move the data so we how we will how we learn how we are going to learn when you are new to windows operating system in windows device or mac device so we have to learn there right similarly even in mainframes also whenever you are going to do something first we should understand the terminologies so we are going to discuss about terminologies and what is data set in windows or mac operating system we call as a file some people will call as a plot file sequential file all of them here we call as a data set so data set or notepad or flight flat file all are same types of data sets in mainframe so how many types of data sets are there there are two types of uh, data sets non vsum data sets and vsum data sets we are going to discuss in detail about them in further videos then isp of option here we will understand how we can navigate after connecting to the mainframe how we can navigate from one screen to another screen how we can come back to the previous screen so all of them we are going to discuss them practically next we are going to discuss 
about primary commands like in windows we have a command prompt using command prompt we can create a folder we can create a notepad we can create we can delete a file we can delete a folder same thing even we can do with the tso ispf also using tso commands also so we will be discussing what are the tso commands what are the primary commands what are the line commands then we will be discussing about data set modifications how we can copy the data from one data set to another data set how we can move the data from one data set to another data set how we can delete a data set how we can rename a data set how to insert the data how to delete the data how do you do modifications how do you update the data how we can view the data so viewing and editing both are different so we will be seeing them later so these are all the data set modifications we are going to see as part of this particular course and we will be discussing about spool also what is spool what is the importance of the spool so these are all the topics we are going to discuss as part of this particular course so thank you team so we will see in our next video that is what is mainframes thank you again